<laughs> Look at you. All tied up. Scared out of your mind, aren't you? What's wrong? You look like you've seen a ghost. <laughs> you know, I've seen a lot of things myself. I've seen a lot of things. But you, you seem a little bit different. You see, I usually just call up my victims, ask simple questions like, is your porch light on? Or did you lock your doors? <laughs> this one's my favorite. What's your favorite scary movie? And they just get terrified. Well, you, with you, with you, you seem a little bit different, so I'm going to treat you different. I'm going to treat you like a toy. You're my little plaything. You got that? Because I don't want to use this knife on you. It's already been used. So play nice, huh? Good. Oh, sweetheart, you don't have to know my name. That's... None of your business. I hear another phone call. Someone's trying to reach out to you. <laughs> Let's just leave that to voicemail. <laughs> no one's gonna find you here. Especially if I cut off every single piece of your body into tiny little cubes. And then maybe blend them up into a mush. Would you like that? You like to become a human smoothie? <laughs> <laughs> I'm crazy. No, 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 sweetheart. Sweetheart. You don't understand crazy like I do. I'm just simply purging. The sins of Halloween. All these nasty teenagers. All these nasty adults. Doing unspeakable things during Halloween. It's disgusting. So. I kill them. And yes, I've been stopped a few times, but I always come back. And I always come back stronger and better. So if you think your friends, family, police, any of that can save you, I just throw those thoughts out of your head. Because you're my bitch. And I can do whatever I want to you right now. But I like to have fun with my victims. So let me sit down. Let me look at you real quick. <sighs> Hmm. It's too bad I have to kill you. You're actually pretty pretty. Look at your face. <laughs> it's 
Such a cute little face I had to cut up with this knife. Oh, you lick it when my knife grazes across your skin, don't you? Right across that cheek. <laughs> Masochist. I should have known. Like I said, I always get rid of the nastiness of Halloween. I helped myself to some of your booze in your fridge. So I hope you don't mind that. But listen, we don't have much time left together. Well, you don't have much time left here with me. So I'll make this short. It might be near that wretched day, Halloween. I might be a little bit late myself. A little bit early, actually. But it doesn't mean I can't have fun while I can. So, let me do something that I think the police will find funny. After I'm done talking with you, I am going to be writing a message on the wall with your blood. Oh, where have I seen that somewhere? Shut up! Before I kill you and gut you like a pig you are. Good. Now keep that pretty mouth shut when I'm talking. Hmm. One more outburst like that, you'll see God. Understand me. Good. You do have a nice place here. How much does this place cost? Mm. That's too bad. It's going to have to go up for sale. Why? <laughs> well, let me tell you a little story then. You see, there was once... An innocent person who living in a house with their mother and father. It was October night, a cold one, like this, night to night. And one of their parents forgot to lock their back door. So an intruder walked in. And the intruder had a knife. Do you want to know what the intruder did? <laughs> the intruder cut up their parents. Making sure there was nothing left. But bloody puddles on the ground. And then they found the kids' room. And... The intruder decided to tie up the kid and talk to him for a little bit before he cut him up and wrote a message on the wall before leaving so the police and investigators could see his message. You want to know what that message says?
the message says, What's your favorite scary movie? <laughs> And well, if I had enough fun with you, time to make that story based on true events. <laughs> 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 <laughs>